welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a vlog style everyday makeup look. And I'm also going to show you my outfit before I walk in. Um, so today I'm wearing this coat because it's kind of chilly out here, which is rare but um, kind of cool because I like being in the cold weather. Um, this is from Forever 21. It's super cute. It has um, these little pleats on it and these pockets. And then I'm wearing this top from Windsor and it's just cut out flowers and it's sleeveless so I think I'll actually be changing them. But yeah, I'm wearing this and then I have on these distressed cropped jeans from Fashion Nova and I have my Forever 21 pointed knee heels. I was going to wear some uh, really cute gold sandals today but I was like, no, it's way too cold. I'm gonna change into this shirt. It's just a cropped um, white long sleeve tee, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go change. Feels so much better um, now that my arms are covered. Um, now I'm gonna go and walk into the studio so you guys can come with me. Oh, and also, every time I come to film, I always bring my big bag, so I put all my makeup in there and like an outfit that I'm wearing today, so it's really good to have a big bag when I come film. This is my studio, you guys, or this is my little set. Um, you guys seen it before in my other videos, and this is where I film. Um, I have my makeup right here, and it's exciting today because I'm using this new foundation from Too Faced, and um, I have all of the shades right here because I'm trying to find my color. I'm doing a giveaway on this channel today. Um, I'm giving away these Too Faced foundations to you guys, so I'm excited about that. And they're very new. They came out today. Today's the 25th, and um, I'll be posting this video tomorrow, so you guys will see it on Wednesday. What's today? Tuesday? Wednesday. And yeah. So we're about to film. Let's get started. I'm, I'm just took a Snapchat. Thumbs up if you follow me on Snapchat. Follow me. I post every second, almost every second of my life if there's something going on. Even when there's nothing going on, I'm just kind of bored. I'll post whatever. So it's uh, Kristen Snaps. Right, I'll put it right here. For my primer today, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I love this primer. I use it pretty much every day. It's very hydrating. Coconut water is more hydrating than actual water. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way. I'm choosing the sand color right here. It's really pretty packaging too. They always have the cutest packaging. And this is full coverage and oil free. So I was gonna put it on with my fingers, but I'm not, so I don't know why I did that. Luckily, I have makeup remover wipes. The foundation brush today I'm using is from Ziva. This is the 104 Buffer Brush, and I'll just apply it with that. I use the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. I feel like I don't really need to make an introduction for this because I use it so much. I'm just gonna cover my under eye circles and then highlight with this. I hid my under eye circles and I've highlighted, so now I'm just going to do my brows while all of this dries. For my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Pomade in Ash Brown. This eyebrow is a lot different from this one, so I do tend to take a little bit more time on this one. It's just to even it out, and they don't have to look identical because they are shaped differently just as long as that brow is even. By the time I finish my brows my powder my foundation has set. Now I'm going to just go over with my powder. The powder I use is from Urban Decay. This is a really good one and this is the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation and, and this is in the color Medium Neutral. 
I like using this powder because it is also like a foundation, but it's in powder form, so it gives you even more coverage. I was gonna, I was actually gonna name this video my natural everyday makeup look, but definitely not natural uh, for everyone. This is my natural, I don't know. I'm gonna have a winged eyeliner in there, so I don't know what you wanna call that, but I know a lot of people, uh, for a lot of people, natural is very minimal. So I think I'm gonna just say this is my everyday makeup because it is my everyday makeup. Oh. Next, I'm going to brighten my under eyes. And for that, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade Light. I have these three awesome under eye brighteners um, or highlighters. They're all matte, so I just go underneath my, my eyes. And it sets in the concealer and also brightens up the under eyes. I was using the flat shader brush for a while, but for my contour, this um, one from Zoeva, the 109 face paint brush, but now I've been using the 109, oh my god, they have the same number. Oh, that's crazy. This is the 109 from MAC. Totally different brushes though. Um, this one is more dome shaped and it's smaller, so I feel like it gets into those areas a lot easier. I'm gonna use the middle contour shade right here and go right along the cheekbone. I like my cheekbones to look a little bit higher, so I do it a little bit above the cheekbone. But you can feel it with your finger, you just put it right underneath your cheekbone and that's where your, your um, contour should go. And then I bring it around the hairline and around the forehead. And then for the sides of my nose, I'll use a smaller fluffy brush. This is the crease brush from Zoeva. It's the 221. Taking the same color and just running it along the side of the nose. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna just sweep it across my crease. I'm gonna take the same color and run it along the lower part of the lash line. This is like the first shadow that I'm creating. Um, and then I'll do a little bit underneath the eyes, very close to the lash line. And I can do my entire face with just highlight and contour. See, it's very minimal. You can't really even tell unless you look really close, but that's fine. This is, it's gonna work really well at the end. You'll be able to see the gradient. And then after that's done, um, my highlight, my contour, now I go straight into the eyes. Then I'm gonna take this bronzer. This one is from Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Bronze Fusion. And it's in the number 251 and they're very creamy and smooth. So I'm gonna take this one with a smaller tapered fluffy brush. The Zoeva Lux Define Crease Brush, this is the 224. Taking some of that bronze color, it has like an orange undertone to it, so it gives you that glowing effect. And I'm just gonna sweep it back and forth along the crease in the same area as the first color, just below the first color that we used. But when it comes to really getting a color payoff and blending it upwards, the two, the 239 brush works for me the best. So I'm taking this um, lighter color here and I'm placing it right in the crease and kind of outlining where I want it to be and then blending it upwards. So I'm gonna show you guys up close now that I'm at the darkest color that I'm using. I'm um, using this one right here. Get right at the base of the crease. And just set the color down along the crease. And once I have the amount that I want, then I'll flip my brush over to the cleanest side and sweep it upwards towards the brow bone. I'm gonna take the vanilla shade from the Shade Light palette and I'm gonna place it right on the lid. Now I'm gonna take Bada Bing. You can take any dark brown you have, um, preferably matte, but this is the one I had on hand, um, just to accentuate the outer crease a little bit more and add some depth there. And then that's the end of the eyeshadow look. Super easy. You actually can skip this part if you don't want that extra definition on the outer crease.
it could be any matte brown you can take and that's gonna be the last color you use to really get the definition in your crease. And then for my highlight, I'll just go back into my contour palette and highlight my brow bone. I'll just pat it where I want it. I'm using the yellow color because I usually like how the yellow undertone looks on my skin. And I'm just gonna work the color downwards into the other ones, nice and clean. And then that's pretty much it. I'll do my eyeliner and I'm gonna do my wing with my Makeup Forever Makeup Forever eyeliner. And this dries matte, which is nice. And for mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. So I'm done with my mascara and now I'm putting on my lashes. The lashes I normally use are from Foxy Locks and they're um, called the Perfect Lash. And I'll have a link below because those are my favorite. I don't have them today. These are Beauty Diva Sisters uh, style Jasmine right here. I usually try to go for something that is kind of PC so that you can see your eye shape and your eye makeup but still give you a little bit of length and drama. Um, when they're close together like this, I feel like it takes away from my eye shape. It makes it look a little too heavy even though they're kind of thin. Like it's a thin layer of lash. But I'm just gonna try it out. If it doesn't look right, I'm not gonna wear it. Um, but I'm gonna try it. That's not too bad. It is kind of full on the lash line, but I think it'll work. So I'm gonna use these. And for my highlight, I'm gonna use the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in Marilyn. For my blush, I like to use something that's very natural and just is like a flush of color on my cheeks. So I usually use the Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette and it's this blush color right here. And then I sweep it right in between the highlight and the, the contour. So it should marry those colors together. Use something that's very nude or I don't even use lipstick, I'll use a chapstick of some kind. Um, today I'm gonna use Skimpy, it's a nude color. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up to let me know you liked it. And I'm giving this foundation away. Um, this is a new foundation from Too Faced. I'm giving a few of them away. If you wanna enter the giveaway, check the description box. The link's gonna be there um, if you wanna enter. And that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, if you tweeted me, go check yourself out. You're gonna be over to the side. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can stay updated to my new videos. And that's it, I love you guys. So so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye dollies.